Hi everybody, it's November 9th, uh, 2018, here on Commonwealth Avenue in Boston. And uh, take a look at how this is laid out. Um, I should point out before we get going in this very short lecture, uh, that today is the 19th anniversary of a kangaroo court in New York at Creedmoor Mental Facility, finding me uh, incompetent to make a reasoned decision about my treatment. What I objected to was being tied down and drugged against my will to cure me of my uh, proclivity to kill myself, something I argued I didn't want to do. And 19 years later, the pretend doctors are still right. Let me flip the camera around here. It was uh, 2003, I think, was going to be the last Veterans Day parade we ever had in the city of Boston. And uh, on the 11th, I took my bum bags and whatnot, and I walked uh, down Commonwealth Avenue from probably uh, Gloucester Street, I'm guessing. This is Fairfield right here. All the way to the Common. I was the parade. There were cops on every corner. And I don't mean just on one side of every corner. They were on literally every corner. The lights were out. The heat was off everywhere. It was a cloudy day. And I marched down Commonwealth Avenue, yelling at everybody about how the buildings looked empty. That was the Veterans Day Parade in 2003. thought I'd show it to you so you could kind of envision it by just looking at what it must have looked like if it had been sunny and, um, you know, there are no cops on the corner that day. So this year's the 100th anniversary of Armistice, and uh, I guess we're gonna let the morons decide whether I should be at the, uh, or any, um, Armistice Remembrance Ceremony, including one in front of uh, my house in Washington, which I went to last year and got gassed at. Um, we're gonna have to see what they do. Um, I did see a marker. We might be out tomorrow, but we might not. That might just be to keep me going. And we want to see just how evil these people really want to be. You want to see evil? Keep me away from the 100th anniversary of recognition of armistice. Even in Washington. Amazing. Sounds like another mission to me. But if you want to yank me, I'm not going to object to that either. I can see going either way. But I think what we need to do today is actually show the morons how uh, evil they are. They won't remember, but we will. We must remember the lessons of history, or we're doomed to repeat them. They're not doomed, they're doomed and repeating them. What they do. And let me add uh, one more thing. We had another uh, of those shootings today. Well, not today, uh, was it? Two days ago in California. Uh, forget about the metaphysical issues involved. Uh, right now, what the morons are doing is they're arguing guns are bad. When we come out with our stories about gassers, we're also going to have to ban refrigerators. We're going to have to ban mung beans. We're going to have to ban stinko. We might have to ban houses because people can't live in them because bad guys might gas them. Um, might have to ban the water supply while we're at it. May not want to talk about that one. But that's kind of uh, what we have to think about. What is it we want to say about that stupid gun debate? Is Elizabeth Warren herself going to go out there and take away 300 million guns from people? Who's going to do that? You know? Dial back the conversation in 1965 and just keep arguing that for 50 years and you sound really moral, right? Anyway, if I uh, don't get to say Happy Veterans Day to everybody in person, consider this the message. Happy Veterans Day, everybody, and Happy Armistice Day. We have learned. It did help. I'm now back at uh, the Prudential Center. There's the Marriott. There's the bridge. I saw a whole bunch of Soldiers of sod crossing the bridge and ignoring, you know, the surrounding environment because it's sunny today. And whatever is uh, historical that I've already recorded here, uh, I think earlier this week, it's too long ago to matter, it's too far away. I was standing literally, I think, right over there, uh, right over there instead of right here. Yeah, I might have been standing here, I don't know.
still too far away. What we have is really a gift if we understand what we're looking at. We're looking at a bunch of moralizing geniuses doing this stuff. Gassing people is wrong. Well, we know that, and they say they know it. And what we're going to do, at least for the next 24 hours and maybe for the next 72, is make them choose between living their lives or not living their lives. We get to listen to all the morality about how gassing people is wrong. World War I was terrible. It's the 100th anniversary. I think it's worth putting people on the record. As much as I'd like to be on, literally, my front lawn at the World War I monument. That would be a lot better, but would it? I don't know. You only go this way once and we got a fork in the road, somebody else is going to have to pick it. Or alternatively, I could be on the deck of the Intrepid looking at the chi -Com consulate. That's another option. Uh, I don't know what to pick. I don't think we... Uh, Blues either way. Good. Any way we go is coming up roses. It really doesn't matter. I do really like the idea of, uh, you know, live your lies or not, you choose on the record. We figure out how to do that right, then my vote would be, I still don't know, somebody else's call, fortunately. Uh, whose call is it? Why don't we make it Mike's?